whistle your favourite theme song and we'll guess it. Okay, I know what that is. go. Simpsons. <laughs> Good guess, but no! Wide off the mark there, bitch. Did you do some jobs before you became a streamer? Um, Ky Kyrus? Well, to be honest, um, it's really hard to get a job when you have um, a condition like mine um, and when you're a full-time carer. So for most of my life, I didn't have the time. And even if I had the time, I had no idea what was going on with me. So I had no idea to, how to explain what happens. And it's hard to get employed by anybody when you spank and hump people. There isn't much scope for um, working in a shop, for example, or anything like that. So, um, I the first job I had I was self-employed I started picking up sea glass and I sold it and I saved up the money to buy materials and things that um, people would buy and I built a shop around it and um, yeah, yeah it was it was a cool experience and it was something that I could do where um, people wouldn't um, you know fuck they wouldn't fuck um, they wouldn't punish me or get angry at me or offended um, and I couldn't like smash things that belonged to other people but I would tick on the beach and I'd just pick up things and be like hello cat fucker and then put it in my bag and like some person walking their dogs just like giving me the side eye hurrying past just like get away from the crazy what you spank and hump people yes I do <laughs> um, I do actually spank and hump people uh, I can't guarantee which end of you will hump either if you bend over near me it's a tick so if I see something sticking out I will spank it or hump it there were like these these concrete sort of pillars um, in the path on the pathway to work the other day and I actually walked over to them and humped them just because they stick out um, so it's not necessarily just people but I do have to give people fair warning if they bend over around me but do you go to the cinema? If so, what was the last thing you watched and what's your favourite movie right now? Um, I haven't been to the cinema in a long ass time. Um, but I think the last thing I saw was a dick. It was a fucking tasty dick. Fuck! Well... <laughs> the last thing I saw... Do you know what? I don't remember. I think it was a Marvel film. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Softcore pog. <laughs> uh, yep. I don't think I'll ever stop being asked for my Insta. I'm seeing a lot of people. Exclamation mark Pornhub. Fuck you. <sighs> the thirst is real. But yeah, I do go to the cinema. I've only been kicked out a few times. Bubblegum Tracer, thank you for your endless positivity. It's a great source of happiness during these depressing winter months in the US. Well, I'm glad you're liking it, Bubblegum Tracer. Uh, cool name, by the way. Fuck, go fuck, go fuck, go fuck a dick. Go suck a dick, go touch a dick, bitch. Uh, thanks for the 400 bits. Really lucky. They just end up frosted and they come back out whole. And it's a, it's a really incredible thing to find. So bottle stoppers are really heavily sought after and they are kind of an incredible find in the sea glass as well. People are passionate about them. And I have quite a few. So these are my bottle stoppers. Um, the different colours are rare too. Um, most bottle stoppers you find will touch my cunt. They'll be shoved up my cunt. Fuck, fuck up my cunt. Bitch, bitch up my cunt. Slut, slut up my cunt. Fuck. Um, so yeah, like having different coloured ones is completely unusual. And these ones are my prized possessions because of that. I have a brown one 
and a teal one. And a little cunt. I have a little cunt. Tasty little cunt. Fuck. This piece, I'm really excited about, even though it's ugly as fuck. It's a bit chipped, but it's thick. And you know how I like it thick. Um, I've, I've ticked about that many times. So, um, it actually says on it, Bristol. Can you see? Bristol. And um, the reason why I think that's awesome is because I tracked this piece down to the factory it was made in, in Bristol. And when I travelled up there, I actually stood across the river and looked at the factory that made this 400 years ago. Which is so cool um, that it can be traced that easily. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing piece to me just because I found it in a completely different place in the country. So it did some fucking travelling. This is a landmark to a moment in time where something was used and created. And I just find that amazing. A little piece of history. I'll show you a little trick if you ever find some of the sea glass. A bit of a weird trick. Um, so if I find a really frosted piece. So see this blue piece? and it's kind of frosted and you can't really see the colour too well um, if you just rub them because the hand, the oils from your hand um, kind of fuck with the frostedness on the surface and then you get to see more of the colour and it kind of becomes my cunt it becomes slightly fuck oh I just threw that at the wall and it bounced straight back onto my lap um. <laughs> Uh, it's it's slightly more clear. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you guys didn't see my belly then, because it was like poking out. Fuck. How old am I? 28. And how was my dick? How was my dick? It's fucktastic. Fucktastic dick. All over my dick. Fuck. Slather my cat all over my dick. Fuck. Um, I hope that answers your question. What's your philosophy on life? Do you mean the philosophy that helped me stop being depressed? Because one of those things was that, um, well, I guess it was two things. I guess it was, I guess it was two things. One of them being that I realized that life would never be perfect. There will always be something that is less than perfect, something that needs improving, something that makes you sad sometimes, something that makes you angry that's going on always. And kitten, fuck my bitch. Um, the key to being happy is being able to enjoy the things that are good in life, even when that's going on. Is still being able to appreciate life and take satisfaction from the things that are good, even when you're not completely happy, even if there are things that you need to change, that there are still wonderful things to appreciate. Because if you're waiting for life to be perfect before you allow yourself to feel good, then you'll never be happy. Never. And I think dick, I think dick on a spanner, I think dick on a spanner is life, but I think that um, another part of that was realizing that for absolutely billions of billions of years, there was nothing in the universe, no, no living things and no light. And then when there was light, there was no living things, fucking ages. And then this burst of life, this rare and beautiful burst of life um, came along and for billions of years after it's going to be gone. And this is a rare kitten. It's a rare kitten. It's a rare opportunity to fuck my biscuit. It's a rare opportunity to enjoy life um, and for the universe to be aware of it. It's made of all of those little stars and all of those bits and bobs in the universe. And we're giving it a brief, per a brief period where it gets to know it exists. And that's beautiful and insane and so fucking cool. Um, and there will be plenty of time to disappear well, there'll be plenty of time to lay down and rest when you're gone, but right now, in this tiny, tiny little window, we have a brief chance to feel awesome and to show the universe how awesome it is. So, I want to seize that chance. I, I want to love life. I want to take the opportunity while I can to enjoy every little thing that I possibly fuck, I possibly can. And yeah, I realized that that's important and that's the most amazing thing that ever happened. And I don't have to be um, something impressive to be worthwhile. I don't have to be, um, I don't have to have a really cool job. I don't have to have a really cool car. I don't have to have really cool clothes or impress anybody or have lots of friends to be an amazing miracle. None of us do because cunt, I'm a cunt. I fuck cunt because 
just existing and experiencing things is the rarest and most amazing thing that has ever happened and it's the best opportunity that can ever be handed to you in itself in my opinion and that realization for me got me going got me off my bed and out there doing things and loving things out it's amazing this guy is amazing hope and is a hope for walking my hope